हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलेट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस इज द पार्ट एट फॉर द गेट इकोलॉजी एंड इवोल्यूशन सीरीज इन विच वी आर डिस्कसिंग इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच आर मोस्टली फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ गेट इकोलॉजी एंड इवोल्यूशन पेपर सो यू आर नॉट ओनली गोइंग टू डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन बट वी विल नो द कंसेप्ट बिहाइंड दैट येस इफ यू हैवन चेक द प्रीवियस पार्ट यू कैन चेक द लिंक गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड द क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ ए कोऑपरेटिव बिहेवियर एंड ऑप्शन आर बायोफिल्म फॉर्मेशन लेक फॉर्मेशन रिप्रोडक्टिव डिविजन ऑफ लेबर और सेंटिनल बिहेवियर सो आई वेट फॉर सर्टन सेकेंड एंड देन आई विल रिवील द आंसर एंड हियर द करेक्ट ऑप्शन विल बी विच इज नॉट एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कोऑपरेटिव बिहेवियर विल ऑप्शन नंबर बी लेक फॉर्मेशन सो विल नो वन बाय वन वट आर दिस फोर टाइप ऑफ बिहेवियर्स एंड दीज आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज पर द बिहेवियल इकोलॉजी इज कंसर्न so first it is lake formation which is not a type of cooperation actually it is a type of fight yes what this fight is we'll know first of all what is lake so from lake the word will be coming laking so we'll know what is a lake a lake is an aggregation that is the combination of the group of male animals gathered together to engage in a competitive display yes all the male of any organism any animal will aggregate at one place and they will show they will display their courtship rituals their power through the help of dance with the help of fight for what so to entice the visiting females which are serving prospective partners to mate with yes these all show off these things display will be done in order to attract the female partners who will be coming for the mating so this is known as lacking so this is not a cooperation but it is a fight so this will be the option which is not a cooperation but other options were number 1 it was biofilm formation so first of all what is a biofilm so bio means life life and films means a layer so layer of life that means biofilms are a collective of one or more types of microorganisms that can be fungi algae that can grow on many different surface yes when the group of microorganism collectively they grow on any surface then it is called as biofilm formation so they are collectively growing that's why it is kind of what nature it is kind of cooperation which is asked in the question so this question is that what is this biofilm formation and how it is formed so we'll take the example of this picture first of all the bacteria will adhere to the surface so let us assume this is any surface so bacteria will come and they will adhere here they will stick to that surface after that they will slowly slowly they will increase their colony by making the biofilm formation that is the film that is the layer so in that process eps will be formed so what is this eps try to note down what we are discussing here eps is nothing but it is extracellular polymeric substances so these substances will be released by the bacteria or the microorganisms which are forming this surface film then what will happen they will grow there with other organisms they will multiply and then they will increase their colony so after that what will happen the planktonic bacteria will be released so the planktons which will be having the mobility they will move to other place to again form a biofilm but those will be sessile that means those will be dormant they cannot move they will be sticking onto the surface so in this way biofilm is formed with the cooperation technique let's move to the next term which was reproductive division of labor so what is this we'll know here with the help of this example so this behavior is actually describes a colonies in which one or a small number of members in the colony are responsible for reproduction yes only one or a small group of organism will be responsible for the reproduction most of all it will be the queen so as in the case of honey bee we can see the queen is responsible for the reproduction but all other members which are except the queen they are called as workers mostly they will carry out non reproductive work or non reproductive task what are the tasks the task can be excavation protect the colony brood care foraging to bring the honey nectar from the flowers and defense activity so these will be done by other members that are worker and the queen or the one or small member will be only involved for the reproduction as you can see in this picture queen is laying eggs and other workers are coming and protecting and providing the food in this case the reproductive partner is divided the labor is divided with the worker and the queen 
next behavior was written in the option that sentinel behavior so this sentinel is not related to the remote sensing sentinel satellite this is related to the behavior in animal where individuals take turns to watch for danger and give alarm calls to the approaching predator so what happens is for example let us take an example of meerkat so this is the meerkat you can see he is standing as a soldier so his turn is to watch for danger so he is standing here to watch if any predator is approaching for their colony or not then he will give alarm if he sees any predator approaching so this is seen in many animal societies and in mostly in the case of birds it has been also seen so the thing is here the turn is there that means why the turn is there if that meerkat is tired or if it is the time to sleep then he will go and someone else will come and guard the territory so this is very peculiar habit which is known as sentinel behavior so these all behaviors are included in cooperation of the animal but the licking was not the cooperation behavior time for the next question the next question is According to the MacArthur and Wilson's theory of island biogeography, the number of species on an island is balanced between what? And here, the correct option will be option number A, colonization and extinction. Yes, if any island is there, let us assume this is the island. Here, the growth of plants and animals will be there. So, according to their theory, they say that it is the result of balance between colonization. Colonization means when some other organisms come here and they form the colonies, they aggregate to form colonies, it is called as colonization and extinction. So, if the organism, the species is extinct, then it dies. So, that is called as incoming and outgoing, that is the making the balance in the island biogeography, the number of species are balanced in this way. Time for the next question. The next question is related to the survey and researcher wants to sample ant diversity. So, a researcher wants to sample any ant diversity in a place and the place the landscape is having river and valleys along with the plateaus. So, which among the following is the best sampling strategy for her to employ? So, that girl is doing I think. So, for that what is the best sampling strategy for the ant sampling in this area? And here the correct option will be option number D. Yes, that researcher has to lay quadrats in both the habitats in proportion to their area. So, what does that mean? That means let us assume this is the riverine valleys, and here it is the plateau region. So, here it is a plateau region, and ants are present here also and here also. So, if that researcher wants to take the sample of ant, then what she has to do? She has to put equal number of quadrats. So, quadrats will be in the size of these squares. So, equal quadrats, it is not telling the number of quadrats, it is telling the proportion. For example, if this riverine area, that is riverine valley is having the area of, let us assume, 10 meter square, then if it is putting the quadrats on 5 meter square, then the ratio will be 1 is to 2. So, 5 by 10 will be 1 is to 2. Similarly, she has to also put the quadrats in the plateau region based on the same ratio that is 1 by 2 that is proportionally equal. For example, here it is also if it is 10 km square, then she has to lay on 5 km square that quadrat. So, in that way it will be 5 by 10, so it will be also 1 by 2. So, I hope you are able to understand it has to lay quadrats in both the habitats in the proportion to their areas. Time for the next question. The next question is the rates of non-synonymous and synonymous change per site are dn and ds respectively. So, non-synonymous per site, this is all telling about the mutation per site of the genetic mutation site. So, non-synonymous change is denoted as dn and synonymous change is denoted as ds. So, it is telling that it is the which of the following mechanism explains the evolution of gene with dn by ds values given as 0.2. So, by looking into this number only, you have to tell whether it is diversifying selection or neutral selection, positive selection or negative selection. So, to know that, let us take to the next slide to know the fundamentals behind this. So, this is the thing that is what is synonymous and non-synonymous substitution or mutation. So, this synonymous substitution, let me tell you, it is also known as the silent mutation. Why silent mutation? I will tell because here, the change at the nucleotide. So, nucleotide level of the coding sequence does not change the amino acid sequence of the protein. So, here 
the amino acids are not changed in this kind of mutation that is synonymous substitution that is why it is called a silent mutation but in case of non synonymous substitution the nucleotide are substituted which alters the amino acid so in this case the amino acids are changed for example here if it is to be a then it will be followed by t then in the next case when it is seen that t is coming over here and a is replacing here then it is the change in the place of the amino acid which is the significance of non synonymous type of substitution so here the amino acid is not changed here it is changed that is non synonymous so now what we have to know we have to know one more concept that is very easy that you should remember that dn by ds ratio yes when the dn by ds ratio is equal to 1 then it will be called as neutral selection so there will be no selective pressure and when dn by ds will be less than 1 then it will be called as negative selection which will be the result of selective pressure to stay the same and when the dn by ds ratio is greater than 1 then it will be called as positive selection where the selective pressure is to change so now as we know that dn by ds when it is less than 1 it is called as negative selection let us go back to the question so here it was 0 0.2 that is less than 1 so that's why here the correct option will be what it will be in negative selection that will be option number d will be the correct option so you have to remember that these ratios between the non synonymous and synonymous type of mutation so dn non synonymous ds synonymous so that's all in this part of the video i hope you have learned something new if you like this don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel to get further updates see you guys in our next video <music>